Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in two different colors. Yarn is in size uh, 4 medium and the crochet hook is in size 5 millimeters. So for this stitch you need to chain multiples of uh, 6. So I will start by making a slip knot and then I will chain 72. This is adult hat. so. So now that we have chain 72, I'll make sure that my chain is not twisted. And then, and then right here to his last chain from a hook, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes a foundation chain, a foundation row kind of. Now for row one, I will chain one, then right there through that same chain, I'll make one single crochet. And then I will chain five. Now I'll skip the next three chains, and through this fourth chain, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. I'll skip one chain, and through the second chain, I'll make one single crochet chain 5 I'll skip the next 3 chains and through this 4th chain I'll make uh, 1 single crochet again I'll chain 3 I'll skip 1 chain and through the 2nd chain I'll make 1 single crochet chain 5 I'll skip the next 3 chains and through this 4th chain I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. I'll skip one chain into a second chain. I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain five. And then I'll skip the next three chains into this fourth chain. I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. I'll skip one chain into a second chain. I'll make one single crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row one. And now, to finish row 1, I will chain 3, then right here, through a single crochet chain that we made in the beginning of a row, I will make a slip stitch. Now, I will chain 1, then I will cut this yarn. So, this completes row 1. Now, for row 2, I will use yarn in different color. Right here through this 5 chain loop, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I will chain 1, then through the same 5 chain loop I'll make 1 single crochet. Now right here through this 5 chain loop I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I will chain 1 and through the same loop I will make 1 single crochet. Now I will chain 2, then right here through this 3 chain loop I will make 7 double crochet cluster. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now I'll chain two. Through this next five chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain 2, through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 7 double crochet cluster. And 
Again, I'll chain two. Through his next five chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain two. Then through his next three chain loop, I'll make seven double crochet cluster. I'll chain two, then through the next five chain loop I'll make one single crochet. So you see how this looks. Well, we repeat this throughout row two. Throughout the finish row two, I'll chain two, then right here through this single crochet chain I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. Now for row 3, I'll use yarn in color A. Please um, make sure to use uh, yarn in at least two, uh, two different colors. See, it will look much, much better when you use two opposite colors like, uh, like I did, for example, in this case. Um, the contrast colors and just make it look so pretty. It look fine if you use just one color, but it won't be as 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 pretty. Now for row three, what we are going to do is all right. So we start right here through this first two chain loop. You see the one right next to this. Uh, it looks like a bubble stitch, but I don't know if it's if it is called like that. So right here through a stitch and loop, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through the slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain one, then right there through that same two chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Now I will chain five. Through this next two chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain three. Through this next two chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain five. Through this next two chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Now, if you look here, this very small detail, you see how in the previous row, which it was actually not previous, but in the first row, we have this five chain loop right here, because through this uh, three chain loop, we made a cluster. Now, for this next row, the following row that will come, this uh, cluster stitch or bubble stitch, I don't know, it will go right here. And the single crochet will go right here and it will just give it like a very nice uh, look and texture and order, whatever you want to call it. So again, I will chain three. Then through this next two chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain five. Through this next two chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Through this next two chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain five. Through this next two chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. So this complete. Oh well, no, it doesn't complete it yet, but we'll complete. <laughs> We will repeat this throughout row three because I literally just woke up, I think, like 30 minutes ago, so don't mind me. <laughs> I might be still in a dream state. Yeah, so we repeat this throughout row three. Now, to finish row three, I will chain three. Then right here through the single crochet chain, I will make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row three. Now for row four. And now for row four, we use yarn in different color, which in our case is burgundy color. Now you see here, 
through this five chain loop, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through this slip knot loop and pull through. I will chain one, then right through that five chain loop, I will make one single crochet. Hmm. Now, I will chain two, then through this next three chain loop, I will make seven double crochet cluster. I'll chain two, through this next five chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain two, through this next three chain loop, I'll make seven double crochet cluster. My hands are cold. The winter is coming. Now I'll chain two. Through this next five chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Through this next three chain loop, oh, okay. Then I'll chain two. And through this next three chain loop, I'll make a seven double crochet cluster. And now I will chain two, then through this next five chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. So we repeat this throughout row four. Now to finish row four, I'll chain two, then right here through a single crochet chain, I will make a slip stitch. And then I will chain one and I'll cut this yarn. All right. Oops. <laughs> I, I really like how this looks. I don't know, it's just, it's just weird but nice. Now for the pattern, we repeat rows 1 through 4. So, we repeat this until our work measures 8 inches. Now, if you want uh, your hat to be larger, just continue making a few more rows. But I want to decrease at this point, because I want it to be a, a sort of like a beanie hat, I don't want it to be slouchy. So um, we're going to start to decrease now uh, for this next row. Let's see how many rows we have so far. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So, so far we have sixteen rows. Now for row seventeen right here through this two chain loop, I insert my hook, then I through the slip knot loop and pull through. Now I will uh, chain one, then uh, right there, through that um, two chain loop, I'll make uh, two half double crochet. Through this next two chain loop, I'll make two half double crochet. Through the next two chain loop, two half double crochet. Through the next two chain loop, two half double crochet. Through this next two chain loop, two half double crochet. Through the next two chain loop, two half double crochet. Uh, oops. So I'll continue making two half double crochet through every two chain loop. 
Now, uh, to finish row 17, right here through this first half double crochet chain, I will make a slip stitch. Now, chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. Now, uh, for row 18, I'll use yarn in different color. And then, uh, right there, through that uh, first half double crochet chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now, I'll chain one. Now, through this first and second half double crochet chain, I'll make uh, a decrease. So Again, through his next two half double crochet chains, I'll decrease again. Through the next two chains, I will decrease again. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease. So I'll decrease throughout row 18. So yeah, I'll repeat this throughout row 18. Now to finish row 18, uh, right here to this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 18. Now uh, for row 19, I'll chain one, then through this half double crochet chain and through this next half double crochet chain, I'll decrease again. Through these next two chains, again I'll decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease, and this is row 19. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease. So I'll continue decreasing in every chain throughout row 19. Now to finish row 19, right here to this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row 19. Now for row 20, I'll use yarn in different color, which in our case here, for this row is uh, yarn in uh, white color. Now right there through the first chain I insert my hook, then I insert my hook to a slip knot loop and pull through. I would chain one, then through the first chain and second chain I would decrease. So um, I repeat this throughout row 19, I mean 20. So I repeat this throughout row 20. Now, to finish row 20, right here through this next, through this next half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 20. Now I'll chain one, I'll leave a long tail. Well, now I'm supposed to have a yarn needle. And again, I have no idea where I put it. But I'm not going to get up and look for it because my son is going to come from school in um, 10 minutes. 
And if I spend my time looking for a crochet hook, then I will um, not be able to finish this hat today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a crochet hook with a, a smaller head. It's a crochet hook in a smaller size. Of course, it's best to use your needle if you have it nearby. Actually, turned out pretty good. If you want, uh, you can make uh, um, maybe one more row of single crochets or half double crochets around the headband area, but I kind of like it how it looks uh, as it is. So I'm going to end it at this point, and let's measure the hat right now. Um, it's uh, around nine and a half inches long, and it's wide um, again, nine and a half inches. Uh, it's stretchy, not too stretchy, but it just has the perfect amount of stretch. I actually like it. 